Google, um, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft are all moving ahead uh, at a great speed in improving this artificial intelligence software. So it's very exciting. Software is going to solve that where it'll look at all the new information and present to you knowing about your interests what would be most valuable. So making us more efficient. We're focusing on what, what we've talked about, on autonomous systems. And we sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. So autonomy is something that's incredibly uh, exciting for us. We'll see where it takes us. Wouldn't it be wonderful if someday we got to the point where there were robots every place, they were running farms, they were running Apple, they were running Berkshire Hathaway, and all you had to do was one person could punch a button at the start of every morning and all the goods and services that we're getting now would be turned out by robots. It is seeping into our lives in all sorts of ways that we just don't notice. We're just getting better and better at it, and we're seeing that happen uh, in every aspect of our lives, from medicine to transportation to uh, how electricity is distributed. And uh, it promises to create a vastly more productive and efficient economy. Uh, and if properly harnessed, can generate uh, you know, enormous uh, prosperity for people, opportunity for people, uh, can cure diseases that we haven't seen before, uh, can make us safer because it eliminates uh, inherent human error uh, in a lot of uh, work. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to be extremely helpful and, it, and the risk that it gets super smart, that's way out in the future and uh, probably worth talking about. But now what we're seeing is that for the first time, computers can see as well as humans. That's pretty incredible. The NHTSA did a study on, on Tesla's autopilot version one, which is relatively primitive, and found that it was a 45% reduction in highway accidents. And that's despite autopilot one being just version one. Um, version two, I think, will be at least two or three times better. That's the current version that's running right now. Um, so the, the rate of improvement is really dramatic, and we have to figure out some way to ensure that the advent of digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity. AI is probably the most important thing humanity has ever worked on. Now I think of it as something more profound than electricity or fire. And anytime you work with technology, you need to learn to harness the benefits and while minimizing the downsides. You know, stepping back, when you think about, you know, a lot of problems in the world, today it's because we typically have a constraint on resources. AI for the first time, I think over time, offers a different construct. Things which are constrained and look like a zero-sum game today may not be so in the future. Take education, for example. It's really difficult to educate people in a cost-effective way. AI may fundamentally change that equation. It may make it possible for us to have clean, cheap, renewable energy for the future. So I think a lot of things will play out in more positive ways than people think. I think probably by end of next year, self-driving will be will encompass essentially all modes of driving and be at least 100 to 200 um, percent safer than a person by the end of next year talking maybe 18 months from now. The idea that there's going to be a general AI overlord that subjugates us or kills us all, I think is not something to worry about. I think that is overhyped. First of all, we don't know, we're nowhere close to knowing how to build a general AI, something that could set its own objectives. But second of all, I think it's unlikely that such a thing's first instincts would be to exterminate us. So I'm optimistic about that one and certainly don't think we need to worry about it today.